So Sundays have been known fairly often as a day of rest for many, many, many years, but not for sport and certainly not this Sunday as people ready themselves for a 400 metre reservoir swim followed by a 10k plantation bike ride topped off with a five kilometre run. Not all people, it isn't compulsory, compulsory <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, the Granite Man is happening tomorrow. It's the only off-road triathlon on the Isle of Man. And I'm delighted to welcome back into the studio with me one of the organisers of the event, Jane Howland. How are you, Jane? I'm good, Rianne. Thank you. Excellent. So how are things shaping up for tomorrow? Really good. The boys are all out in the reservoirs. The bike racks are up. Um, and the sunshine has been ordered and I think we're going to have it tomorrow. So we're really excited. And you're competing with a lot of other events this weekend, actually. We've got the end to end, which we're going to talk about soon. Yeah. But so how how have your numbers been? Have they been really impacted good. at all? Really good. Um, we, we had uh, quite a high number last year, but we've beaten out. We've got 39 solos. So that's people doing all three disciplines. We've got 30 teams. We've introduced a duathlon, which is just the two, not the swim this year. And we've got another 20 doing that as well. So that's sort of an introduction to triathlon for people to give it a go. That's so fantastic. we're really pleased. And are, are you yourself competing? I would, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I just had my hair done, so... <laughs> yeah. I would, but obviously I need to be there. We, we, we organise, so we're there, etc. So unfortunately, I'd have to give it a miss this year. So, but what would your words of wisdom to people uh, going out there tomorrow be? Have fun. Give it a go. Um, we, we, it is a charity event. There are there are people of all sorts of ages, etc. Um, some people are, are sort of in it to win it. Uh, but we also have people that are actually just challenging themselves. So go in and have fun. Do the best you can. We're there. We'll support everybody all the way around. We've got some great volunteers all around all of the tracks. And it's just go in, give it a go and have fun and enjoy it. Can people come and watch? And yes. Support? Yeah. And Kringle is up um, at the top of Glen Road. It is um, difficult to park, but you can get parked. We have got people, uh, car park attendants, shall we say, so we can maximise the parking. Flo Coffee Van's there mm -hmm. with her uh, coffee and cake as well. Come up and support. It's a great. We do get quite a lot of people coming up and cheering. It starts at 9.30. It'll be, we expect the f sort of it to be finished by 12. Last year, Will Draper uh, won for the third consecutive year. Um, he did it in an hour 10 and the, the longest was about two hours 20. So half 11, 12 o'clock will be when the sort of finalists come in and we do the presentation. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Jane. Lovely You're to welcome. have you. And best of luck to everyone Thank there you. tomorrow.